Workers at BAE have promised that no effort will be spared when it comes to finding work for employees facing redundancy from their site in Bruff. In their first television interview, bosses have also confirmed that they are in talks with other companies about taking over the factory. It comes on the day that hundreds of employees travelled to London to demand answers at BAE's annual general meeting. Our correspondent, Siobhan Robbins, was with them. It was the clearest message so far. Hundreds of workers standing together, fighting to save their jobs. We ought to let them know that, that we care, first of all, about this. We care about our site, we care about our jobs, and we care about our families. They're just trampling all over me like I'm a nobody, and I'm, I feel I'm getting tripped badly. We're here fighting for our jobs and to feed our families. Today they brought their campaign to the capital, right to the doorsteps of the bosses at the company's annual meeting. This is the Hartley family's third protest. I've come down to London when I was nine years old about when he was talking about losing his job and it shouldn't happen twice, uh, let alone once. It's a highly skilled workforce now who are capable of making the hot. There's no need to move it across the fen out. These workers aren't just fighting for their jobs, they're here to show their anger over payouts to bosses, including a rumoured 1.4 million bonus to Ian King. They say how can that be fair when they're now facing redundancy? And local MPs came out to show their support. So the workers keep going, we've done much better than we expected, so we, uh, every extra day of fight is worth it. And to BAE, recognise your social responsibilities. The taxpayer paid for you where you are today. Hawk should continue to be made of bra. I think they're going to change their mind on that. But now what we can see is a whole range of opportunities to maintain aerospace manufacturing at Bruff. And there's a much healthier dialogue about that. In September, they were fighting to work on the Hawk. Today, they just want somewhere to work. As long as we keep working and we're keeping manufacturing, whoever we're working for doesn't really matter. I would like to stay for BAE Systems, um, but if that's not an option, as long as I've got an employer who's going to keep paying me and keep me in the, the same type of work I'm in now, yeah, I'll be happy with that. As they head home, these workers hope their protest today has shown bosses the human face of what has so far been an industrial dispute. That's her word with Siobhan now. She is uh, live in London. I mean, you've been speaking to the company about the job losses. What have they said to you today? Well, Peter, as you say, for the first time, BAE has spoken on camera about its intentions for the site, and it's confirmed it's dedicated to finding all of the workers' jobs. It's also confirmed that there'll be no compulsory redundancies in 2012, something, of course, that MPs had suggested on Monday. And finally, when I spoke to Nigel Whitehead, I asked him about this suggestion that other companies might be brought onto the site to provide workers' jobs. And I asked him whether there was anyone specific in the frame. At very early stages, and at the stage because of the business sensitivity of it, we're acting under a series of confidentiality agreements. So I won't name businesses today, but active interest. And ideally, if we could actually uh, get that active interest to gel in an appropriate timescale, then possibility for continuity of employment for numbers of people on the Bruff site. How swayed have you been by the work of MPs and workers who are protesting now? Well, I identify with the passion, identify with the energy that they're putting into it. Um, does it sway us? We were actually already fully committed to that whole mitigation process. Um, the truth is that we continue to be committed to it. Uh, I actually appreciate their passion. So from that perspective, it's very raw, it's very real uh, and quite compelling. If you are honest and you look at your position in September and now, are you more or less confident that you can save those jobs? Well, we're certainly more confident that there is real interest in the skills and capabilities on the site. The trick is to actually then convert that into actual commitments from other companies, actual jobs for the people uh, on the site, and redeployment opportunities. So we're further on in that process, yes. So finally, what is your message to the workers who've been here today protesting? Okay, well, the, the message is that uh, we will not spare any efforts in looking for opportunities for mitigation, redeployment and retraining.
So the question on everyone's lips, has today made any difference? And in a way, I think yes, because not only have these workers reinforced to shareholders their dedication to saving those jobs, for the first time, BAE has publicly confirmed it's talking to parties interested in investing in this site. And that means there is hope from saving these workers from redundancy. Siobhan, thank you very much indeed. I have heard what's happening.